it is time to continue the Rancho Recovery Program. And to that end, we're going to do a little bit of tree shopping here. Let's get caught up and see if our weed killer, our weed and feed is doing the job. And then I'll show you a couple things that I would like to pick up today. First thing I want to do is come out. That weed and feed is definitely doing the job. It's going to take a couple weeks. But you can tell just on the surface, a lot of these weeds are less prominent, which means they're on their way to being wiped out. It may not look it, but this is like a two week process. Weather's good. See all the, uh, all on the ground. Got a heavy patch over here. And I can still see the little crystals from the Scots on here. So I know this is still working. it just takes a little bit of time now over here I would like to get a tree that's going to be in this location we're all prepped for it we got the water line we're in good shape we need the right tree to stick in that area and then over here I would like to add a couple more of these some kind of mini cypress or something. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. We need seven, eight, nine. So we need three more of these. So I'm gonna take a picture of it so I can show them up there. We, we're gonna head up the road to Urban Tree Farm, which is Santa Rosa's, the whole area is it's a big go-to place. Uh, it's a big selection, but the important thing up there is that they know what they're talking about. They just don't have, you know, people sitting there pulling a check to cash people out. They got people working in the company and on the grounds that know what they're talking about. And they're very efficient, they're very good. I really depend on that knowledge. Now, I kind of got my heart set on a Japanese weeping flowering cherry tree, which is beautiful. I haven't had success growing it, mainly because I didn't have the proper uh, water lines set up on it. So I'm hoping that with my new setup, that'll all be remedied. The road just whistling, woo, and almost ran dead over a polecat, a skunk to most of you. Man, can you imagine if I popped that baby under the tire? Yeah, the, the, the thing was already past gone. I'm just saying, wow, I gave that one inch from nailing that baby. If that stink sack had exploded under my vehicle, I wouldn't have been able to even get close to this uh, car till about June. to Urban Tree Farm, 20 acres of stuff here. How about that? They're closed on Tuesdays. So this being Monday, we should be. Okay, I'll tell you, if they don't, if they don't have it, you don't need it here. This place has it all. Fruit trees are over in that area. I guess I'll take a look at them just to see, but I'm feeling doubtful on that. First thing to do is grab a cart. Plenty to choose from. Slap our stuff out. I guess we should look at the board and see where stuff is here. That's not much of a help. 15 gallons, uh, I don't know. That doesn't help me a hell of a lot. No dogs allowed. They really do have it all here. But, uh, 
I have to go over and ask somebody about these uh, like Cypher stuff. I'm going to have to put my mask on over to the sales office here. Oh, here they are right here. No, that's not them. I thought that was them for a second. So I'm going to have to show them a picture of it. I think I'm walking over 20 acres. <laughs> we'll go over to the sales office here. We got a map marked out. We got a Japanese weeping flowering cherry. We're going to go over and take a look at that. And then we have the DY12, which is that ground cover. They're actually junipers. They're not cypress. That was really helpful. They also have a farm store in there. The sales office. And I'm not sure what that's something. I think that's a gift shop in there. They really have it all. So we're looking for DY12 over here and this is this area supposedly in here and I see them they're just pretty big look around here a little bit this is exactly what we're looking for so um rain parts full sun part shade deer resistant eight feet wide for this I think this is this is fine I think this is what we're looking for Make sure there's nothing else around. Actually, that's not the one. That turns into like a tree, so I don't know. I'm not looking for a tree. I got these at the big box store, and I'm not looking to pay $35 for it, too. All right, let's go over. Let's go over the other area. All we have to do is tag the tree. Let's go over to the fruit tree area. Looks more like it here. Juniper Buffalo. Yeah, 18 bucks. That's more of our style. I think this is the one. I don't think this one's going to get real big. Let's see. It's kind of hard to tell. I don't know. But this looks like they, these look like they're going to spread smaller. So we're going to grab three of these. kind of directed me to the high dollar when she doesn't know me very well. All right. These are going to be perfecto. Price is right. Or these buffalo 18 bucks. So that's good. All right. Let's um let's park the card here and let's go off and head in. Let's look at the fruit trees. This place is like ultra organized, isn't it? Are you loving it?
looking for RR35. RR35. These things look pretty big, don't they? 36. RR35. Here we go. I'll be darned if I can find it in here. Birch trees. Like, really? Somebody's around here. Show you the one we picked out of here. This gentleman helped me pick it out. Looks like it's got pretty good flow to it. Weeping flowering cherry. They ain't cheap, guys. I told you. Have to really dig down for this baby. Let's get our goodies to the car, and they're gonna come over with the big boy. Here, so let's get out of here. Here's the guy here getting me all loaded up. You think I can just lay that on its side in there? Yeah. It's a lot of tree. Huh? Yeah, that's perfect. Will that be okay? Yeah. Well, thank you. Gracias. Thank you. Doggone, I feel like the plant lady today. But I got what I needed. They were 18 bucks a pop for the small ones. 95 for the big ones. I think all in it was with tax, like 160 bucks. So I really got to make sure that this one makes it. Okay, because two strikes and I've been out. So third time will probably be the charm, I hope. Thank you all for being along on this little uh, field trip to Urban Tree Farm. I really appreciate you being along. And thumbs up and comments are appreciated. And if you're not sub, sub up. Always something going on this channel every single day. Thanks, everybody.